My name is Rene Lichtman. I'm a hidden child Holocaust survivor. I think we're committing war crimes in Gaza, and we should fight back in any way that we can. You know, I think Israel is a fascist state today. What, what else would you call it? Can you imagine dying in a way where the building falls on you? That's the way the death occurs in those places, day after day. It's, it's almost like, like torture. Tell us about your own history, Mr. Lincoln. Yeah, well, um, I was born 37. Mm -hmm. My parents had just come from Poland. Poland was invaded in 39. Mm -hmm. And of course, there were roundups. Roundups meaning there were certain dates when the Germans demanded so many Jews for the trains. My family members were taken to different death camps. Uh, Majdanek and uh, Zobibor. My father joined the French army and he was killed. The big question was, how do you find a location that's gonna hide a, a Jewish kid? Jewish families had been going there for decades to Villepinte because it was a kind of a left-wing community. A few years after the Russian Revolution, they started building these factories all around Paris with brand new housing for workers. My town was part of that. I stayed with the Lepage family. They were internationalists, right? So the nephew of my family that, that was hiding me was part of the resistance. That was Albert. He was the one who would get my mother and bring her in from Paris to visit me in the countryside. After July 1942, she had to go into hiding because that's when the, the final solution really started getting impl implemented. What do you think about what the IDF is doing in Gaza? Yeah, I think it's all planned. And again, sad to say, there are parallels to what the Nazis did. The Nazis were very conscious of, if they didn't have to waste a bullet on some Jews or communists, you can't forget the communists, you can't forget the Bolsheviks. The Nazi plan was, you know, if, if you can starve them, that's fine, or, you, or diseases. And the Israelis are very conscious of that, and, and they're proud, they, you know, they brag about all that stuff. You uh, compared the Israeli siege on Gaza to the Warsaw Ghetto. Can you elaborate on that? So the Warsaw Ghetto um, uprising, it seemed to me like a parallel to what Hamas uh, was doing. And they were very conscious. They were gonna die in the Warsaw Ghetto and they were gonna take some with them. The Warsaw Ghetto fighters were these young people. They were idealistic. They were all socialists. They were all on the left. The Jewish world has forgotten that. Uh, they were like my, my father. Their grandparents originally came from the Nakba of uh, 48. And they've been in these open air concentration camp with, with guards all around them their whole lives. That's why I think th there is a parallel. And the other issue I think that's really significant about Hamas, when you study the African American rebellions, the Nat Turner rebellions. They were not polite, you know, tea and cookies type thing. They were extremely violent. There were excesses, right? Because, because, it, because the process of liberation includes that. There's so much anger built up and hatred that excesses are, are done and, and to be expected. But the abolitionists, they understood the anger and the hatred, and they did not criticize uh, the, the Turner and these other rebellions. So I think you have to put Hamas in that context. I'd like you to address this, the slander, which is um, repeated Democrats and Republicans that opposition to Israel is anti-Semitism. Mm. I love that, yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. What there is is anti-Israel um, sentiment, but it's, it's called consciously to confuse the issues. 
it's called anti-Semitism. So everything is anti-Semitism. The Israeli lobby has put its foot down and you cannot talk about Gaza in any kind of Holocaust education program. There goes your, your, your hypocritical freedom of speech, right? And that's across, and I, I, I know the international survivor community because I'm one of the founders, one of the founders of the World Federation of Jewish Child Survivors. And I'm, I, over the years I've been in touch with you know, Jewish survivor group all over the world, you know, including Poland and Germany, Holland and France, France and uh, England. And they're having the same, the same issues, no politics, no Gaza, but the message has gotten out. There is no way that things are gonna be the same after uh, this international court of justice, which is just so moving. Mm. You know, it was just, I was so moved by things that the South Africans were, were saying. The, the, the real anti-Semitism comes from the right wing, Trumpers, um, Steve Bannon and those people, they are Jew haters, but they're very selective in their Jew hatred. So for example, they love Israel, they hate American Jews. What is your attitude to the unbridled support that Biden and the entire US political establishment has given to Israel in this genocide? Biden has been a war criminal for a long time. His, his arms up to his elbows are full of blood. If you don't uh, fight these people all the time, if you're, if you're a bystander, they, they will take control. And it's a, it's, a hell of a, it's a hell of an enemy. I would say to the young people, choose your role models, choose the you know, Warsaw Ghetto uprising. 